Mr. Dillon was 11 years old when he started learning the family business. And he was 11 when he started to love it. I just knew that I loved working outdoors. I loved working with machinery. And what I thought my dad was doing was really cool. As a kid, it was like a big backyard for me. That business is called the Richberry Group, and it's the biggest cranberry farm in Canada. Last year, it produced 20 million pounds of cranberries. The farm is also one of Canada's biggest wetland conservation areas. We're, we're stewards of the environment. We grow food that's healthy for consumers. These kind of things really make me feel good. The Richberry Group is based in British Columbia, where Peter grew up. His family immigrated from Hoshiarpur in India in the 1950s. His dad was the first Sikh to join the RCMP. And in the 1970s, they started a modest cranberry farming operation together. Actually, I think my mother was a little bit more of an entrepreneur than my father. She was the one that would roll the dice and take the risk. So she was a big part of my family's business background. Peter got more and more involved in the business. Today, he runs it. But the world has changed a lot since those early days. And when the financial crisis hit in 2008, Peter realized that greed and big businesses were getting out of control. In 2015, he opened the Peter P. Dillon Center for Business Ethics at UBC. He also started making significant financial investments in healthcare, education, and humanitarian aid. You know, there is uh, more than just making profits. It's uh, the social responsibility that comes with being an executive and the importance of doing the right thing and being a good corporate citizen. The more Peter keeps helping the global community succeed, the more he keeps succeeding too. In 2009, he was appointed to the Order of British Columbia. In 2014, he became the youngest and first ever non-white chairman of Ocean Spray, a cooperative of cranberry farmers across North America. In 2017, he became the first Indo-Canadian appointed to the Board of Directors of the Bank of Canada. And in 2018, he became the first sick person inducted into the Canadian Agricultural Hall of Fame. Peter's business continues to grow and change, but his passion for his work helps him meet those challenges. How we source our food going forward into the future is going to dramatically change, and how we grow our food is going to change as well. And as always, He'll do it with kindness, generosity, and awareness of the wider world. Make sure whatever you do, you love doing it. Otherwise, you won't be very good at it. Respect goes both ways. You just can't take. You have to give as well.